Hello and welcome to Aussie Rush. I have been wanting to do a resin piece for so long and today we are making one. I'm more into fantasy and mythical stuff, so instead of making a regular fish, I just make one up. This is currently up for a new owner on my Etsy shop if you are interested in having it. To start, roll a translucent clay into a ball and then make it into a teardrop shape. Now you can shape the head in whatever shape you want if you also decide to make this into a fantasy fish or make a Pokemon instead since Pokemon Go is so popular nowadays. Next, indent the eye sockets and place in the material for the eyes. I use cat eye stone for this one like the ones I used for my winter dragon or you can just use white palmer clay for this if you want to. You can add a piece of clay on top of the eyes. You can also add horns. These are just a design choice. If you don't want to, you don't have to. For the tails and fins, I use opal clay because it's whiter in color and has tons of small pieces of films mixed in it. What you want to do is cut up the shape you like for the tails and the fins. I'm adding some coils to the tail because I was thinking about jellyfishes. Yeah. Add some texture to the tail and the fins with a tool, I use silicone shaper. Now you can add some texture to the body. I used the cross hatches parts on a scoped in two for this, but Exacto knife also has this texture, so you can use that instead. On the forehead, I'm going to add a zircon, which is available on my Etsy. A lot of materials I use in this video can be found on my shop if you want to get into Palmer clay. Now, the last two steps are to add some whiskers and glow in the dark clay, then finish it off by applying some Pearl X powder for colors. The reason I use this powder instead of colored clay because I want to give this fish translucent flesh and sparkling colors. You can use the colors you want to apply on the fish. I chose purple and gold. Apply to some parts of the body, no need to cover the whole thing in powder. You want some of the translucent clay to show. Then this is all ready to be baked in the oven. If you are using Palmer clay that is, make sure you follow the baking instructions on the package. After baking, I apply a layer of UV resin to seal up the Pearl X powder from coming off when I pour the resin in. UV resin is quite expensive for a small bottle, plus you will have to buy UV lamp to dry the UV resin faster. But I am so in love with this UV resin, it's so simple and easy to use. If you don't have UV resin, you can use the regular glaze to seal up the powder. I've been dying to try the UV resin ever since I saw the Crafting a Ninja on Instagram where she used it to glaze her creations. Time for the resin part. I use an ashtray for the pond and pour in some white sand, just enough to cover the bottom, no need to fill up the whole ashtray. I use Easy Cast because it has very low odor and I also use glow in the dark powder. I'm using sky blue. You will need two cups and a pop stick to mix the two part resin. First, pour equal amounts of the part A and part B in the cups. Then add some glow-in-the-dark powder in one of them. Make sure you mix well, then pour the other parts into the mix. Now 
Now just mix it. Mix, mix, mix. After the resin is well mixed, you can pour this into the ashtray. This doesn't need to cover the whole sand. I just want to have a glow on the bottom, like one of those underground water was on short. Don't remember exactly what it's called. After the first cup of the resin has dried, add in the fish and some other stuff that you want to include. Then mix the second cup of resin and pour that in. Make sure you mix more than the first cup because this time you want to cover the whole fish like it's swimming in the water. Use a lighter wash straw to blow out the bubbles in the resin. After that, just wait for 24 hours for the resin to cure. And then you will get yourself a mini pond of a unique fish. Hope this is helpful and here is a preview on the next creation that is also water related. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and see you later. Bye!